Ever since the All Engines Go gang had left Sodor, the Sodor Railway engines have been trying to get back to work ever since. No one can say that we're not afraid of the line, but we just can't draw for goods trains. Dirty trucks, dirty sidings, blech! What are you boiler raking about? I remember on the Great Western Railway, that Tin Pot Railway. Tin Pot indeed? Silence! Huh? Who said that? Settle down, you guys. I know it's hard work, but tomorrow, I'm sending in an engine from Scotland to help you. Oh boy, it's about time after that troublesome all engines go, gang. Yo, I agree. But when Sir Topham Hatt came to see the new engine, he was surprised that there were two of them instead of one. Okay, very strange. I thought I just ordered one engine and not two. But, oh well, what are your names anyway? Donald and Dougie, sir. The twins spoke in a chorus accent. Do you two have numbers? We did at one point, but we did lost them on the way there. Well then, it's settled. Let's just give you new numbers then, shall we? The twins got their numbers. Donald was nine, and Douglas was ten. Afterward, Sir Topham Hatt had asked Duck to show them around. Soon after, the cars and coaches behaved well, and the passengers even stopped grumbling. The three engines soon became friends, and Duck gave them an advice. Be careful with Gordon, James, Henry, and Rebecca. They've got tricks up their sleeves. Ugh, don't worry. We'll show them. Donald and Douglas had deep tone whistles. They sound like buses, Rebecca. Or ships. <laughs> Tugboat Annie. Ha 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 ha. Donald and Douglas cruised quietly up, one on each side. The two engines glanced nervously at them. So you wouldn't be making fun of us right now, hmm? Oh, uh, no, of course not. Certainly not. <laughs> then that's fine. Don't do that again. Just mind the both of you and keep it that way. That was the way Gordon and Rebecca kept it. Every day, usually at 3.30, Gordon pulls the express full of important people. There was even a special coach for people to travel on. Every day, the coach must be shunted in a, in a special bay of the platform for Thomas's branch line. Then Thomas with Annie and Clarabel would come and pick it up later on. Thomas was proud of his special coach. Later that afternoon, Douglas was offering to take Gordon's coaches away while Duck was helping with Donald with for a goods train. He was enjoying this when an awful thought struck to him. I hope Sir Topham Hatt doesn't find out I'm here. He's sure to be sending me back. But he worried so much about it, he forgot about Thomas's special coach. He soon joined Donald at the water column, just as Thomas puffed by cheerfully. But later on, Thomas soon came back fussing. Where's my coach? Coach? What coach? My special coach. The one that Gordon brings me to and fro. I must find it. Oh dear, I must have stolen the special coach. How clumsy of me. And to make matters worse, Dougie, look over there. There are tons of people at the station arguing what a bad railway it is. Well... He's gonna send one of us back for sure. Oh no, he ain't. What do you mean, Donny? Let's switch tenders. Good idea. And that's exactly what they did. Donald, with Douglas's tender, took Douglas's train to Vickerstown. While Douglas, with Donald's tender, sat there like nothing had happened until Sir Topham Hatt came. Donald, this is ridiculous. Why are you not doing the goods work? Um, because, sir. My tender coupling broke. Sir Topham Hatt inspected Douglas with Donald's tender. Hmm, I guess you're right. We should have gotten that fixed at the steamworks, though. The station master soon ran up. 
Um, sir, there are tons of people saying this is a bad railway. Can you do something about it? Sure. Douglas watched as Sir Topham Hatt and the station master walked away. And then a few minutes later, Sir Topham Hatt came back, wiping his eyes. Douglas thought he was crying. Um, sir, are you okay? But Sir Topham Hatt was cross. Douglas, why are you messing around with Donald's tender? Uh, I don't know. To be continued.